I'm so excited. School starts in less than two weeks and we're gonna be back together again in person. For those of you that are doing the hybrid, I wanna say a couple of things just before we start, but I'm gonna take you through a typical day. What is it gonna look like when you come to school on September 14th or September 15th? So first, it is really important that we all do our part to keep us safe and healthy. So we need to remember all of our safety protocols. We need to wash our hands frequently. We need to wear our masks. We need to stay at least six feet apart from one another. We need to stay home if we're sick. And we need to remember our safety protocols so that we can all stay healthy and safe and we can keep coming to school. So right now I'm gonna take you through a typical day. So if you arrive to school on a school bus, you will drive up along here and you will be let off your bus. Each bus will dismiss one at a time and you are, will come, you will proceed to the entrance door, which is right over here. You will come through the auditorium door. At that time, we will take your temperature. And then if you are here prior to 745, you will go to a holding location for each grade level. So if you are a ninth grader, you will go to the cafeteria. If you are a 10th grader, you will go to the auditorium. If you are a junior, you will go to the gym. And if you are a senior, yes, class of 2021, if you are a senior, you will go to the library until 745. So again, if you come in on a bus, you will go through this entrance. So if you are a student driver, which means you have a valid license to drive your vehicle, you will park in our wonderful parking lot and you will proceed through the gym doors. So you will enter in the morning through the gym doors. So student drivers, you will come through this gym doors, you will get your temperature taken, and if you are a junior, you will go to the gym, and if you are a senior, yay, class of 2021, you will go to the library. If you are being dropped off in the morning, you will be dropped off in our back parking lot, and you will proceed through the loading dock doors just like normal, and when you get to the door, Somebody will be there to do a temperature check and send you on your way. We are asking that people not get dropped off until 7.45 or after. Remember that school starts at 8.05. So please make sure that you are here by 8.05, but you may be dropped off as early as 7.45 and go to your first period class. You may also grab a breakfast in the cafeteria on your way through. It is a grab and go breakfast. Okay, so as you come into the cafeteria, you will enter from this side, which is the auditorium side, and you will grab, if it's breakfast, you will grab your breakfast and go to your location in the morning if it's between 7.30 and 7.45. After 7.45, you can take your grab and go breakfast and go to your first period class. At lunchtime, we will eat in the cafeteria, 9th and 10th grade will be eating 5th period, and 11th and 12th graders will be eating 6th period. We do need to social distance so that you can remove your mask to eat. So as you will see, there are some tables that are already spaced apart, and you will be able to sit on the seats that are marked for students to sit so that you are socially distanced from one another, okay? Not everybody will sit in the cafeteria, so we are doing an overflow upstairs in the gym lobby. So you will be able to grab your lunch. Again, lunches will be like a grab and go. You will take your lunch and go up to the gym lobby for those people that cannot sit in the cafeteria. So here's an example. We are socially distancing lockers. So all throughout the building, if you look, this locker is for an alpha and this locker is for an omega. They're two separate days. The next alpha is down here. 
So you will be socially distanced with your lockers throughout the building. Okay, we're gonna show you a couple of classrooms. Yes, this is going to look and feel much differently than last year. Here is a classroom that is set up where there is a chair at each table and they are all socially distanced from one another. Here we come into another classroom. You can see that it is all set up for students each period sitting in a different seat. So between classes, teachers can sanitize. Make sure that we wash our hands frequently and when we are unable to wash our hands, we can use hand sanitizer throughout the building. We will have hand sanitizers all through the hallways Please make sure that you are using them all the time. At the end of each day, we will have advisory and we will stay in advisory and do a staggered dismissal. When the first round of buses come, the students that ride those buses will be dismissed. Then the second round of buses will be dismissed when they arrive. Then our student drivers and any students being picked up. Our student drivers will exit out the gym lobby doors and anyone being picked up by a parent will proceed out the back doors, just like the arrival in the morning to catch your ride home. A day in the life of a Spencer Benetton high schooler. Again, it's going to take all of us to do our part to keep all of us safe and healthy. I look forward to seeing you Hey, don't forget your summer reading. school today because I am on a virtual day. Well, I've already talked to you about what it's like to be in school. Now I'm going to talk to you about what it's like when you're home and learning virtually. Gotta go find, bring my phone because I know we'll want that. And now I got to go find an area so that I can get ready to learn for the day. Okay, so woke up, I grabbed some water, grabbed a snack, found my area where I'm going to work for the day. So I would need you to know that every day is a learning day. So this year, it is going to look a little different. It's going to feel different. So this year will be different. It will not be like the spring when we're learning from home. Every day is a learning day. So when you get up in the morning, you grab your stuff, you find a nice area in your house where you can do your work for the day. So I've got my laptop, I have my books. Yeah, I have my phone because I know that all of you have to have that nearby. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my phone off and I'm gonna put it over to the side because I don't wanna see or hear it, feel it vibrate or anything because I'm gonna focus on my schoolwork right now. This is time to get things done. So I have my laptop and I'm gonna log on because every day is a learning day and I need to, to log on to my computer every single day. So, so this year there will be two types of learning. There will be synchronous learning and there will be asynchronous learning. Synchronous learning is in real time, which means that the student and the teacher are interacting with one another interacting and engaging in the content at the same time. So that's synchronous learning. There's also asynchronous learning, which is flexible timing, which means that you will interact and engage with the content on your own schedule at your own time. So our teachers will be doing synchronous and asynchronous, and each teacher will tell you what their expectation is. Now, there may be some days when you are home learning virtually that you will be synchronous with a teacher, but then there may be other days where they're going to expect that you do things on, 
Schoology, and that would be asynchronous. Okay, so it is a combination of synchronous and asynchronous learning on virtual learning days. Okay, so now that we've got that clear, we know that your teacher will set the expectations of what you should do and how you will do it. But every single day, every day, you will have to answer the question of the day. Every virtual day, sorry. Every virtual day, you will answer the question of the day. But every day, you will be required to check your email. And every day, you will be required to be on Schoology. That is how you will get your content, your assignments, your tasks, and that's how you will get it back to the teacher using Schoology. So again, let's review every day. You have to, every virtual day, you have to answer the question of the day. If you are 100% virtual, you will answer a question of the day every day. If you are hybrid, you will only answer the questions of the day on the days that you are virtual. Otherwise, you are in person and you do not need to answer the question of the day. Every day, you need to check your email. That is a great form of communication with teachers, uh, with other students, check your email. And then Schoology, every day you will have to get onto Schoology to get your assignments, to turn assignments in. Also, there's a great tracking tool on Schoology that lets us know when you're in there and how long and what you've been doing. So Schoology is really important. So remember, every day is a learning day. Okay, so the other thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to complete and turn in assignments. So make sure that you're doing your work and you may have assignments due every day. You may have assignments due every other day. Every class may be different. So if you have a math class, you may have assignments due every day. If you have an English class, you may have assignments due once a week, but you are checking into Schoology. You're also checking with your teachers and you're going to produce quality work. It matters this year. We are grading. We, we have Regents exams as of right now. So we need you to use your days the best you can and learn everything you can possibly learn. We will help you. You are not alone. Okay, so now sometimes you may have to attend a class online when you're home. So you may be asked to Zoom or do um, Google Meets or whatever. You may have to do something like that where it's online. You may stream live into a class. Again, that would be called synchronous learning. You're doing it at the same time the teacher is teaching, but it is totally up to the teacher whether they will have you do that. They may have you do it some days. They may have you not do it other, other days. Okay, so your teacher will tell you the expectations. The best thing that you can do for success, because we want all of you to be successful, the best thing you can do is to follow your schedule at home. So set up a schedule just like your class schedule when you come to school. You At 8.05, you do first period. At 8.47, you do second period work. So whether you're synchronous or asynchronous, it's still great to be on a schedule. You set that up. So make sure that you set up a schedule for getting your work done at home. Okay. Next thing, we want you to engage and connect. The best thing you can do to learn is to engage with the content and connect with the content, connect with your teachers and make sure that you're learning. And if you don't understand something, connect with your teacher and make sure that they know so that they can help you. If you are home learning, we don't know what's going on in your brain. So we need to know. So please let us know if you need help. So again, connect with your teachers frequently. It will help you immensely. Ask for help, please. It's okay, I ask for help all the time. Okay, we need to ask for help. So you can ask your teachers for help. You can ask your advisors, which you will be meeting with when you come in person. If you do come in person, you can ask me for help. I would love to help you. I want you to be successful. So please make sure you ask for help. We're all here to help you. And remember, 
Do your work. It matters, okay? It matters. We want you to learn. We want you to grow. We want you to be the best person you can be. And the only way that's going to happen is if you do your part, okay? So we're all in this together. Teachers are learning and growing new things too. They don't, they, Schoology, we're all learning this together. So we can do this. So please make sure you do your part. Remember, one more time. Every day is a learning day. So every single day is a learning day. So you need to make sure that you're on your computer, you've got your books, you've got a pen and paper, whatever you need to learn best. You have a nice snack and you have some water or maybe I don't, some juice, okay? But in, you need to make sure that you have a, a nice environment to make sure that you learn um, the best that you can learn. Remember, this year will be different, but we will help you. We will get through this together because you know what? Every day is a learning day and together we achieve.